There is a way between voice and presence where information flows. In disciplined silence, it opens, but with wandering talk, it closes. My name is Patricia Milnes. I'm an artist who has made the Middle East my home. From a three month stay, initially, it is now my 40th year, and I've never regretted a day of it. When I came to the Middle East first, we didn't have as many art supply shops, and I learned to do without the ease, just to find a material that was ready made for me. I've always used everyday objects, but the simplicity and beauty of the objects that are overlooked has never ceased to inspire me. Ma, it's like my art is my life. And as I get older, the complications of life get lost and you enter into a simpler space. And using everyday objects and multiplicity of objects, which have been consistent in my practice, Ma gradually entered into my consciousness about 20 years ago, where it wasn't the artworks I was making, because I've always had multiple images. It was the spaces between them that mattered, the quiet spaces. So within the repetition, you have breaks. Within music, you have breaks. Within poetry, you have breaks. And within conversations, unlike this one, you have a break. That is Ma. It's the space between where everything happens. Initially, I came to the Middle East to study Islamic art. And when you study Islamic art, geometry is everything. Mathematics, geometry, and physics. My first love, I studied physics first in university. It's simplicity. And of all the geometric shapes, the one that says simplicity most is the circle. Why is it chosen to represent infinity? Because it is the infinite form. It binds everything, it covers everything. And the circle allows you to turn with no hindrance. Well, everything that I do still comes from the same uh, repetition, continuing multiplicity of units. And stitching was just, it's perfection. Because you have a small mark, but when you have a running line, you have something stronger. You have the spaces between which break it. I started in my practice uh, with photorealism. And sometimes having an ability to draw can be a disadvantage because you get lost in the surface. You get lost in the skill. And using a stretch line of thread instead of a pencil line freed me from that strength of a skill and allowed me to actually go beneath the skill into what I was really trying to express. A lot of my work also revolves around women and the importance of women. The women that have allowed me to stay here, that have opened their homes and made me part of this nation. And I've always respected women. And women's work tends to be, even to this day, repetitive, monotonous. And within that, all over the world, women are found in these repetition and repetitive chores, um, patterns, uh, life, uh, ways of singing, practice, that makes this, what could be mundane, into something deeper. And I started entering into this. I had no domestic skills, and I've just learnt to use the stitching to honour something that was bigger than I am. I've always found that when I'm with people, because energy is everything, when I'm with people, I can give energy and take energy, and people are my life. But the other side, what is more important, is actually solitude. It's being alone. It's having time with yourself. It's enjoying yourself. COVID seems sad to many people, and it was terrible. But for me, it allowed me a period to be totally alone for days and weeks on end. This is what everybody needs, the silence. Within the spaces between my objects is silence.
and entering into silence allows everything in life to be fulfilled.